Hey, what is up everybody? I am Jason and you watch my channel, Micro Investor. So in this video, we have another hyped up EV stock to talk about, and that is Tortoise Acquisitions, ticker symbol SHLL, which is going to be doing a reverse stock merger with electric truck maker Hillian to become ticker symbol HYLN. And before we get too much into this video, I want to make it clear that I am not invested into SHLL. I am not trying to hype up this stock in any way. And I don't really care if this stock goes up or goes down. Um, I'm simply just making this video for fun and entertainment purposes, not financial advice. So the reason why SHLL has so much hype was because of how much money people made off of Nikola Motors, which was originally um, a acquisition company, VTIQ, that people were invested into. And then that did a reverse merger to become M NKLA. Very similar situation going on here. So there obviously is a lot of FOMO behind Helium as people are wanting to invest into the next Nikola Motors, the next Tesla, etc. But this company actually isn't really much like Nikola or Tesla, because what Helion is doing is they're just selling their powertrain. They're not trying to manufacture vehicles. They're not trying to build charging stations or anything like that. And through part of this video, I actually pronounced the company wrong. It is pronounced Hylion, but I pronounced it Helion through part of it. I made the mistake there, so please forgive me. But this company does have a couple products that they are offering. One of them is their Hypertruck ERX which uses renewable natural gas as a fuel to power their generator, which then creates electricity to pass through the batteries as well as into the motor. So at the same time that their trucks were able to be driving, they're also recharging at the same time. And the cool thing about renewable natural gas is that it is already becoming common to use in the United States. Companies like Waste Management and UPS and many more use it to power their vehicles. So there's stations all over the country where these trucks can go and refuel in about 10 minutes and be on their way. And the big difference between Helion and these other renewable natural gas, AKA RNG trucks, is that Helion is just using the RNG uh, to power the generator, which then creates the electricity to power the fully electric truck. Whereas these other uh, trucks that are out there, they are using the RNG to power their engine. So now let's look at Helion's Hypertruck ERX drivetrain. So it goes zero to 60 in 20 seconds, fully loaded at 80,000 pounds. So very similar to the other electric uh, trucks out there. And it's machine learning continuously optimizes power output. And it's super efficient using up to 100% RNG Hypertruck ERX electric power generator is up to 35% less expensive than diesel on a mile per diesel equivalent gallon of fuel. Trucks that use the drivetrain will be lighter than all other Class A trucks. Hypertruck ERX is lighter than any diesel or fully electric Class 8 fleet, can haul more freight, not battery weight, giving an even better return on an investment. And here's a big game changer for this company that separates them from everybody else. They have fast refuel and long distance. When fully loaded at 80,000 pounds, Hypertruck ERX can travel over 1,300 miles, charging its batteries in a route and can be refueled in 10 minutes or less. So that outperforms Nikola Motors, Tesla, etc. So the Hypertruck ERX is really cool, but they also have other products. They have the capabilities of actually making any already existing class eight truck into a hybrid electric truck. So this would work with diesel and natural gas trucks, and they'll replace the axles with the electric axles and add new components to the truck as well. And some people might be asking the question, why would a truck company want to spend a bunch of money on modifying a truck that they already own to make a hybrid when they potentially will never see a return on that investment. And the reason is a lot of states in the United States, like California, for example, where I live, they offer uh, grants available to companies that will lower emissions. So if there's free money for grabs for a company to potentially save a lot of money on gas, then of course, many companies might want to do that. 
So now that we have an idea what Hylion is all about, let's look at the blank check company that is going to be doing the reverse merger with Hylion, Tortoise Acquisitions, ticker symbol SHLL. It was not until June 19th that all the hype took an effect on SHLL. From that point on June 19th to now the time of making this video, SHLL stock has gone up about 150%. Now, when we compare Helion to Nikola Motors, you guys know that I wanted to invest in the Nikola Motors, but I always thought that the stock was way overvalued. And I expected to buy into it with the still being overvalued, but now I basically just said, I'm not even gonna buy into the company at all. And the reason why I'll never invest into Nikola Motors is because when the stock did go public, the founder and CEO of the company stepped down as CEO and sold off a lot of his overvalued shares. And when Nikola Motors was promoting their stock, they were saying that they had all these reservations that equaled out to a whole lot of money. But in reality, all those reservations were made with no money down. So anybody could have gone on their website, they could have reserved 10 vehicles with nothing down just for fun. I can't get behind something like that. I can't get behind a company that does something like that. Now, the good thing for Hylion is that they do require a $5,000 deposit to make a reservation. And they're already using an infrastructure that is already out there, as well as making a product that works in other vehicles. So there is more that I can get behind this company, a lot more that I like about this company than I do about Nikola. The merger is expected to go through third quarter 2020. That is when HYLN will have its IPO and all the proceeds for that will go back into the company to help commercialize its products. So I'd like to hear people's opinions about Helion and do you like it more than Nikola Motors? Not only that, is there anybody out there that has invested into the uh, blank check company, ticker symbol SHLL, to get a head start on buying into this stock early? So as always, everybody, I'd like to hear your opinions. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I have new videos coming out on my channel all the time. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you all in the next video coming very soon. Hey, real quick, if you guys need to build a website, check out my affiliate hostm1.com. And you can find me on Instagram at micro underscore investor.